and so lads and lasses! On Arch Linux April's 2021 image, we essentially have a guided out of the box installer, and it is not even a joke! The project is called Arch Install, and it is basically an installation script written on Python. And possibly the best ability of this installer, is that we can relatively easy modify, or use already modified scripts from others, for custom and automated setups. Enough said, let's try it, and get the views! <laughs> Alright! So we start with the standard live Arch image, and everything so far is the same as before. Basically Arch install is an alternative installer, so the usual method is also here, and possibly will be here for the next 20 years too! And Arch Linux may always had a large set of installation scripts, but it is a different story when an automated installer is actually getting by default on the installation image, because it will get all the attention in the universe, and it will become the best installer in the galaxy! And not to mention that everyone can get the very original Arch Linux, without been afraid to call him a noob! Anyway, let's get over with it! And so, Python, Arch install, and guided! Keyboard language 21, for America fuck yeah! Next is the downloading server location, that we can skip and possibly will find the fastest, but whatever! I just picked Greece! Then we need to select an installation disk, and on this part we really don't have lots of choices! I'm only guessing that in the future we'll get some partitioning options! For now I'm just selecting the VDA and ButterFS, and I will check later what it will do! Hum, I'm not going to use a disk encryption, but super nice this option is available! Host name? My Arch! Setting a root password, and even if it reckons not to, most often we should do that! And one more time for confirmation! And next we're creating our user! and passwords, and confirmations, and add her to the pseudo group, and all done, and we don't want a second one! Then it is asking to select a desktop, and I don't even understand the point of this question! But whatever! Oh, that was nice! Because it now asks us to set up the graphics drivers we want! AMD or Intel, or even Nvidia! But I will just go with Mesa! Then we can set up the network! and I only hope it can automatically deal with Wi-Fi's, but if you have troubles just use a cable, and set Wi-Fi later from desktop! Then we need to select the time zone, which is one of the typical BS of the original installer too, but here at least is easier! So next it displays our current configuration, but I don't see any option for editing it? But I'm happy with this anyway, so let's proceed! 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! And basically that was pretty much everything! The Arch install will handle everything from now on! It will format the drives, download and install the packages, and run all the post installations hooks and scripts! And inside 7 minutes we'll be ready to reboot and use our system! Whoa! Arch hasn't still updated to GNOME 40? I'm one step away to not even upload that video! But I will do just to say, you suck! In the meantime, if we check our disk partitioning details, we'll see it only made two partitions! One for EFI, and one for the root! And surprisingly it didn't create it a stupid swap! And perhaps if Arch had a normal installer 20 years ago, now it would add triple the user base and quadruple the contributions, and things like Manjaro and Garuda wouldn't even been a thing! But certainly, you don't need to go through that stupid Arch installation to learn a thing! 